Hey y'all, it's your girl Veda Marie here with Veda One On One. I am checking in with you because this weekend is my very first flight. Okay, I am doing a three um three A days. I'm a commuter, so my shift does not start until tomorrow, but I had to fly in tonight. Um, I can't move into my crash pad until Monday. So um, I'm in a hotel until I can get into my crash pad on Monday. So just getting myself together and I'm about to iron my clothes get ready for tomorrow. I have no idea where I'm going just yet. The part of A-Days, we call A-Days Adventure Days um, because you have no idea where you're going until you know. Um, so I am on standby tomorrow, which means I will be in full uniform waiting at the airport tomorrow until they call me and say, hey, we need you at this gate right now. And then I have to run all the way to that gate and then find out where I'm going. So that's where I am with it. Um, I'm super tired. I'm going to go ahead and rest my body. And that's it. I will holla at y'all. Holla like a dollar. When I can. Okay, y'all. I didn't even have time uh, if I wanted to. To talk to y'all today. Because today was long. I'm going to break it down for y'all. It goes a little something like this. I got called around 10 something in the morning to uh, do a flight from Atlanta to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to San Francisco. I'm laying over in San Francisco. I've never been to San Francisco before, so I'm a little excited about that. Um, I just had dinner with my gang which was all great. We were supposed to be deadheading back to Atlanta tomorrow, but of course we call these adventure days, guys. So what went from all four of us deadheading back to Atlanta tomorrow, we were all rerouted, all of us except for one. So now tomorrow, instead of deadheading, I will be going from San Francisco, working my flight to Salt Lake City, and then I'll be deadheading from Salt Lake City to Atlanta, okay? <sighs> Sounds like a lot, because it is a lot. So I just finished eating, I'm about to KO. Oh, and another thing is I actually move into my crash pad tomorrow, so I'm a little nervous about that because for you guys that don't know what a crash pad is, a crash pad is basically when you're like sharing a room. All right, I'm a commuter, meaning I live in Virginia, but I work in Atlanta. Okay, so I need somewhere to stay when I'm in Atlanta. I can't be spending money on hotels every night. I can't be, I don't have, I don't know too many people in Atlanta, like whose couches I could crash on or, you know, whatever. So a crash pad is basically where you're paying like a monthly fee some people do crash pads and it's like a hot bed or a cold bed. I'm paying a monthly amount that's less than $300 for a bed that's all mine. Some crash pads do it per month. This crash pad that I'm doing, going to, uh, it's a minimum of three months, which works for me because I don't want to have to be moving somewhere new every month. So that's cool. I share a room with three other girls. Mind y'all, I live by myself back at home, okay? So, so from going to my having my own space and then like sharing a room with three strangers, like, <sighs> I don't know if I'm excited. I kind of am because it's like something new. Like this is what I, this is what I took this job for, you know, for different experiences and for new things and to try different things and meet new people. 
But the more I think about it, I'm like, ooh, three people in one room? Mm, I don't know if I'm that excited. But we'll see. Guys, today was my first flight. Okay, maybe that's why I'm so tired also. My body's really just not used to this lifestyle just yet. Today was my first flight, my first working shift. And I loved it. Um, no matter how tired I am, I thoroughly en enjoy just like the crew I had today. They were really helpful. Um, I was able to ask as many questions as I needed to. And if you guys know me, a lot of you that are watching might not know me, but I'm very inquisitive. Like when I have questions, I ask them. If I don't get something or I don't understand, I'm definitely the, so how do you do this? And why do you do it like that? Okay, now what if you don't do it like that? Like, what is that? What happens then? I'm that person. So some people get annoyed by that. Oops. Some people really don't mind. So I love the people that really don't mind. Um, and that's the type of crew I had today. So I was really grateful for that. But I don't know how lucky I'm going to keep getting with that because I be having a lot of questions. I don't like to just be messing up. Like, I don't like to mess up. I like to learn how to do it the right way because I'm a type of, I'm a fast learner. So if I learn it one way, I'm going to keep doing it that way. So, and my instructors taught me in training, ask questions. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I was taught to do, ask questions. It's who I am. I'm naturally curious. Sometimes it's a good thing, guys. Sometimes it's a bad thing. And like in my relationships, it's a bad thing. I be having too many questions for people. Oh, well. But in like real life, it's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with asking questions and wanting to know what you want to know. That's it. That's all I got for you. Mwah. I'm about to go to bed. Y'all see this big bed right here? Whew. It's about to get all of me. All of me. <sighs> Good night, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm back in VA. So last time I checked in with y'all, I was in San Francisco. And then the next morning I was going to Utah. So that trip was great. Um, nice and quick, nothing really too bad about it. And then from Utah, I deadheaded back to Atlanta, um, which was great because it was like a two or three hour flight and I still got paid for it. <laughs> Yesterday, okay, so that was that. That was my first A-Day, like the whole Utah to Atlanta. Yesterday was, so we get three A-Days. Yesterday was my last A-Day of that three-day block. And so yesterday I did Atlanta to South Carolina, South Carolina back to Atlanta. Those were really short trips, so I didn't have to do like a service or anything, which I loved. <laughs> um, and then we did, um, when we got back to Atlanta, we did Atlanta to Little Rock, Arkansas, and then Arkansas back to Atlanta. So it was really, it was really short and quick, but it was like a long day because that's technically four legs. Um, which, you know, I really didn't mind it, but at the same time being new to the job, it was just like, okay, like this is, this is, this is a lot, but it's enough. It's not like horrible. My first set of three A days was, I loved it. I have no complaints other than just being tired, but I don't even think that's a complaint. I think that's just my body not being used to the lifestyle that I'm about to the lifestyle that I'm about to live. Cause I don't want anyone to get discouraged by that, but you do get tired. Make sure you hydrate, make sure you eat your fruits and veggies and all that good stuff. Um, my crash pad, I moved into my crash pad yesterday. It was lovely. It is such a nice home. And so I'm in the room with three other women, but there's a total of eight people living in this house. So there is one room that I'm in with two bunk beds. So it's me and three other people. And then there are two rooms with two people. So it's like four other people outside of our room. Um, and I only met, out of all eight, I only met two of the girls because mind you, we're all in different airlines. We're all in on different schedules. And you know, like the morning, the next morning, like I slept there and the next morning, I had to report at like 9.15. So I was up around six and out the door by like eight. 
and so I won't see them until I go back. So that's really how it is. Like you see these people and then you don't see them until you see them again, which I kind of like. Like it's like you're sharing a home, but you're not necessarily all in the in the house at the same time. Um, they have a kitchen that's so nice. It comes with all like the pots and pans and stuff. So I was able to cook there, and I'm I'm gonna be able to meal prep there and stuff like that. Um, you know, you get your own designated closet space and yada yada yada. But it's really convenient for people like me who commutes and doesn't have many options as far as like staying with other people at my base. Um, some people have family members and where they're based, so they have like that to rely on, or some people, you know, don't mind paying for a hotel every time they need to work. Me, the way my budget is set up, I'm not paying for a hotel every time I have to work. So, you know, because then you have to worry about like booking a room when you're coming back home or, you know, if if you end up laying over somewhere, you just pay for a night in the hotel that you're not even gonna be staying there. So um, to each their own, but me personally, I feel like the crash pad works best for me, especially because I have my own bed and I can just come and go as I please. It's really, it's that simple. And I pay less than $300 a month, which is pretty convenient because when you add up all hotel fees and all that stuff, it adds up like it, it bounces out this is going to wrap up this video this video was really just about what it was like you know my first ever block on a, a rotation or a schedule as a flight attendant and that's how it went it was fun it was exciting it was exhausting i learned so much i worked with maybe three different crews um so it was all cool. I was able to make it home last night. So a part of commuting is that sometimes you might get home too late to like, okay, if I'm based in Atlanta. Sometimes when I'm working a flight that's coming back into Atlanta, sometimes those flights might be a little too late for me to catch a flight back home to Virginia, right? So that means I'll now have to go to the crash pad because I have somewhere to go at least. But there are some times, like last night, which I'm truly grateful for, where I was able to get back to base in time for me to catch a flight back home. So I actually got home last night, which I was so excited to sleep in my own bed because I done slept in maybe, what, three, three or four different beds in a matter of three days. <laughs> my body is like girl what are you doing um my feet hurt my knees hurt my back hurt I think I'm gonna take a really hot bubble bath tonight just to kind of like restore my body but I'm so excited for this journey I'm so excited for all the places I'm gonna go I'm actually going to Memphis in San Antonio this weekend so this weekend I don't have a days I actually have like a like an assignment um so that's exciting. So that way I'm not like waiting for scheduling to call me and tell me where I'm going. I know exactly where I'm going and it, should, it shouldn't it should change. I'll say it shouldn't change, but um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this journey. I might not record my whole layovers and stuff in San Antonio and Memphis, but I will post, excuse me, I will post on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you're watching this, go ahead and follow me. So that way when I post on my story, you'll see what I got going on. I might not always post to my page just because like, you know, airlines have a strict social media policy. So I'll post on my story just because I know that it deletes in 24 hours, but it's also a way for you guys to, you know, keep up on where I am just in case I don't do a video for it because I might not always be able to do a video for you guys to let you know what's going on. So Instagram is the easiest way to keep up with me because I'm definitely going to try to um, make sure I post on my story consistently when I go to these new places. So if you haven't already, follow me now. Boop, boop, boop. And, you know, I really thank you guys for watching. And um, I promise to you is to stay as consistent as possible. Um, and so until next time, this is the conclusion of this video. Y'all don't mind me. I look crazy. Actually, I don't look that bad. But I don't, I'm, you know, yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Mwah.